On the scene video coverage of AHA 2012 is supported by Prodexa. Welcome to On the Scene AHA 2012. We have many more late breaking trials, and I'm joined here by Deepak Bhatt, the Cardiosource editor for all the trials, to uh, sort through another day's trials uh, spanning a few different topics today and starting out with some stem cell research for heart failure. There are two trials uh, presented, both small, uh, neither worked, uh, and uh, I guess that's been a recurring theme. The, the first of these was the TIME trial, it was about 120 patients with STEMI, interestingly, right. Um, and this used intracoronary cells. That's right, intracoronary infusions at two different time points, but from a bottom line perspective, it didn't work. Yeah. And there had been some thought that maybe the timing of intracoronary stem cell delivery would affect results, but there was no signal of that. Yeah, yeah. and then I guess another uh, transmyocardial work with mesenchymal stem cells, uh, potentially of more pluripotent one, or, uh, but that was a much smaller study, actually no control group. Right, so different um, type of uh, stem cell, different mode of delivery, in this case endocardial uh, injection. And there, there were some positive signals in there, but as you said, you know, modest sample size, really small sample size, and no control. Uh, but uh, I guess for believers, there were some positive signals in there, but I think really what the field needs is some adequately sized trials to nail down whether this approach really works or not. Yeah, so I guess more coming uh, in, in that realm. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. I mean, you know, stem cells are hot in medicine in general, but yeah. uh, I think we're just at the beginning yeah. in cardiology. Okay, well then on to diabetes. Uh, we have a, a dual inhibitor that is the um, sodium glucose transporter one and two inhibitor, so SGLT one and two. Um, this is a, a new drug called LX421 uh, that looked pretty good in terms of, of getting glycemic control. Absolutely. The uh, one receptor dumps glucose into the intestines, the second uh, one more so uh, via the kidneys uh, through urinary excretion. And uh, in addition to uh, helping control blood glucose in the study in patients already on metformin, there were also beneficial changes in other surrogate markers, reductions in body weight, so that would be quite encouraging, and reductions in blood pressure and systolic blood pressure. So this isn't dissimilar to what's been seen in other medications that are somewhat related in their mechanism of action. Uh, and, and for those compounds, there are actually large outcome trials planned. So still very early with this compound, but good signals. Yeah, I mean, it's a, another add-on therapy as we look for how do we go past metformin. Uh, looks encouraging and, and, and different options, so I think further trials are planned with that one. Yep, looks good. And then finally, we had another round of, of more studies with the PCSK9 um, antibodies uh, with ongoing very dramatic reductions in LDL cholesterol. Uh, several of the studies today were with the Amgen compound, uh, AMG145. Uh, one of them presented by our colleague um, Bob Giuliano uh, found on top of uh, statins reductions up to about two-thirds in the uh, LDL cholesterol. Yeah, so large reductions in LDL cholesterol that one would hope would translate into clinical effect, of course, that needs to be proven. And indeed, there are multiple trials in this field that are either ongoing or planned. Yeah. So uh, we're definitely staying tuned. I think uh, at this meeting, announcements of the first of those large outcome trials to see whether lowering LDL cholesterol this profoundly, but with a non-statin mechanism, will translate into reduced uh, cardiovascular events. Yeah, but so far it looks good in terms of at least the biomarkers uh, associated with lipids. Exactly. Well, for uh, AHA 2012, uh, thank you for joining On the Scene, and stay tuned for other late-breaking trials as they come out during the rest of the meeting.